Today I'm showing you Four Monkeys, the amused hotel. This hotel is located in Sam Sen 6, which is in the old city of Bangkok. It's a really quaint environment and even the hotel itself is really cool too. Now, looking at the pictures on the website, you might notice that there is a swimming pool, which is actually not at this hotel, because right across from this hotel is the Samson Street Hotel, which is their sister hotel, and there they do have a pool. And guests from the Four Monkeys Hotel are welcome to use the swimming pool at Samson Street too. I am in room 502. This is the top floor of this building. This being the old part of Bangkok, there are no high-rise buildings here. I think the buildings generally go up to about seven floors and that's it. It certainly does add to the charm of this area. The Four Monkeys Hotel has three room types. I am in one of the suites and they've really taken me by surprise so far. It is a three-star hotel, but they have a lot of little touches in this room. For instance, these leather seats. There are even many wall sockets in this suite. Not that I've been counting, but I noticed about eight wall sockets already. And I think I have a lot of privacy here. I cannot imagine anybody looking into my room despite these large windows. They really seem to like the whole brown mirror theme here. Quite a funky bathroom I have here. I even have a spa bath. In the kitchenette there are tea coffee facilities, there is a basin, a bar fridge, four bottles of drinking water, room service menu. It's not 24 hours though, uh, it goes up to 9 p.m. but it's quite an extensive room service menu. Oh and there's more on the other side. Speaking of which, my stomach tells me it's about lunch time. The hotel did prepare a set lunch for me so let's go have a look and see what am I eating today. Chicken masaman curry and vegetarian spring rolls. Prawn pad thai with a serving of chicken coconut soup. Coffee with tiramisu. I'm really very impressed by the food they have here. I wish you could taste the flavors of this chicken coconut soup. The lemongrass in here. Oh gosh, so aromatic. I absolutely love masaman. It is by far my favorite dish here in Thailand. It is better in the south though, and I'm sure that the hotel won't mind me saying so because everybody agrees. In the south of Thailand, masaman curry is fantastic. So if you do go down to Phuket area or Krabi, do yourself a favor and get yourself some masaman. Oh, thank you. They gave me some uh, watermelon smoothie too. Oh, that is good. We're going to walk around the area and see what there is to see around this hotel. Definitely one of the favorite parts for me of Hotel Review, besides all the nice food of course, is going outside the hotel and exploring this area. This is called Jade's House and they do a very good mango sticky rice here. You can click on the link provided at the top of the screen right now and you'll actually see me eating mango sticky rice at this place. I found this little uh, Chinese shrine or temple. Oh, it's right next to the canal. That's pretty cool.
I found this cool little market. It's almost like a bit of a walking street and there are plenty of places to eat. Just found another Chinese temple here in this uh, walking street. Quite a few of them around here. <gasps> Squirrel! There are squirrels running around here on the telephone cables. Oh hey, I remember this place. This is a coffee shop. The entire coffee shop is covered, floor to ceiling, with artificial flowers. This here behind me is the Patong Gok Cafe, a very popular snack here in Thailand, Patong Gok. And this is a Michelin star restaurant. This place is very close to the hotel. You really have to come pop in here if you stay at the Four Monkeys. This temple is called Wat Bowon Ni Wet Viharam. Everybody just needs some love, right? It's really not difficult to find food here in Thailand. If you don't go to the food, <laughs> the food will come to you. This is the rooftop bar at the Four Monkeys Hotel and it is very appropriately named the Monkey Way. It's a very nice chilled environment up here. Um, it's actually rather cool up here. I believe that the sunsets from here are really great too. Unfortunately today is a cloudy day so None of that for me. This is the pina colada. Oh yeah, very, very good. Life really doesn't get much better than this, having pizza on a rooftop in Bangkok. Thank you very much, thank you. This is the Long Island iced tea. Oh yeah, that is very good. I'm taking a quick walk to a nearby restaurant. The hotel here gave me so much food, but I have to go show you this restaurant. The food here is incredible. It's called Bangkok Routine, and they have the best poutine I've ever had. Hi. Ani, okay. Ani, cup, uh, cup, extra cheese and a cup. Extra cheese. Okay. This is the reason why I come here. The poutine here is absolutely fantastic. Served really, really hot. And do yourself a favor, make sure you ask for the extra cheese. <laughs> this is poutine. It's so good. French fries, lots of cheese, chicken, lots of gravy. So good. So we have your number now, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a character, huh? I really. just met a YouTuber before, like an actor. Oh, really? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> what is your name? Roni. Roni. What's yours? My name is G. Nice to meet you, Roni. I tend to come to this area very often and whenever I'm here in some Sen, I always come to Bangkok routine because the food here is great, the service is great and this restaurant is open every day from Wednesday to Monday. They are only closed on Tuesdays. The restaurant closes at 11 p.m. at night so you have ample opportunity to come here for a late night meal. I've been coming here for so long but I've finally left my mark here at Bangkok routine. I'm clearly not the only one who thinks that the poutine here is the best. 
Whoa, man, I am so full right now. <laughs> that was quite a big portion of food. I simply had to come and show you this place. The food here is so fantastic. It's always nice to come back to a clean and comfortable room. I think I worked hard enough today, so I'm gonna go make use of that spa bath. I think I made too many bubbles. It's crazy and inspiring, but mostly crazy to think that the owner of this hotel started off as a street food vendor. At one point in his life, his wife was selling 20 baht coffees on the street and he was driving a taxi and now he has this hotel. I should also mention that this is one of four hotels that he owns. The owner has four sons, which is where the name of this hotel comes from, four monkeys. The concept behind this hotel is inspired by Hanuman, which I believe is a Hindu god. In fact, I think that's Hanuman on my wall over there, the monkey. I did not expect to work this hard coming here today. But there's a lot to experience both in the hotel as well as around this hotel. I'm going to catch you for breakfast. Good night. Whoa, I slept like a baby. Good morning. Let's go check out breakfast. Breakfast is good, there's certainly enough things to choose from. Seems to get busy like around 9am. That's it, time to go. This was a good stay. I can recommend the Four Monkeys because the food here is very good. The staff are great too. It's a great area, very good location. Uh, fantastic for exploring the old city of Bangkok. There's a lot of charm to be found around here.